let's see, 800 calories, 1069, that's what, like 75 calories per dollar? I cannot be the only one who does this. Welcome to vlog number five. A huge congratulations to everybody who's graduating right now, class of 2020. Shout out to my niece, Vivian. Now, as somebody who's been in college for a decade, today I'd like to teach you the most important math you'll ever learn in school, possibly even life. Calories per dollar. Here's the thing. I'm a growing boy. I run, I bike, Sometimes I swim. On a given day, resting, I burn about 2,500 calories per day. Active, an extra 1,000 calories per day. So yeah, 3,500 calories per day, that's about 100,000 calories per month. But because I've been a college student for the last decade, I'm also broke. So many calories, no money. So the goal here is to get those calories as cheaply as humanly possible and today I'm gonna to give you some tips on how to do that. Rule number one, restaurants are not efficient. This may seem obvious, but let's look at a few examples around Princeton. Panera, let's see, 900 calories, six bucks, that's about 150 calories per dollar. Qdoba. So the move here is to get the loaded tortilla soup with smoked brisket, which gives you 1,370 calories for only 8.95. Not a chance. These guys have nutrition information. Okay, so this place has the menu posted, but it doesn't matter how many calories this food has, it just costs way too many dollars. The cheapest that you're gonna get at a restaurant is 100, maybe 150 calories per dollar. That's, that's a pretty bad deal. Although, I wonder how calorie efficient Little Caesars is. 200 calories in one slice, that is 2,240 calories in an entire pizza for five bucks. Wow. I'm shocked. Wow. If restaurants aren't a good deal, then that brings us to rule number two. You gotta make your own food. Analyzing the calories per dollar in this method isn't as simple as just dividing your grocery bill over the amount of calories you need in a given month because, you know, maybe you eat out, maybe you get invited places. In fact, it's nearly impossible unless you're a super nerd who keeps like a spreadsheet of every meal you eat in a month. <laughs> okay, well, even then, you'd still have to be big enough of a nerd to have another spreadsheet of all the grocery receipts and prices and weights. <clears throat> Let's just go to the grocery store. So the obvious college student staple is pasta, right? 210 calories per serving, eight servings per container for a buck 25. So that is roughly 1300 calories per dollar. It's a pretty good deal. Now, unless you're super duper weird, you're probably not going to be eating your pasta totally plain. So uh, what you eating there, Kevin? Some noodles. Noodles? What else is on that noodles? Um, I think I put some basil and some salt and some balsamic vinegar and so, uh, some oil. <laughs> so that's essentially plain noodles with a couple spices. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> yeah, so like I said, unless you're super duper weird, you're not going to be eating your pasta plain. You're going to be eating with, with sauce. And so this ragu sauce is... 80 calories per in 15 servings, it's four dollars, so about uh, 300 calories per dollar. 
uh, averaging out the pasta and the sauce, getting somewhere around seven, eight hundred calories per dollar. That's pretty efficient. Another surprising source of cheap calories is actually milk. So it's 339, 150 times 16, so that's 2,400 calories in one of these bottles. So it's about 700 calories per dollar. But still, if you drink a gallon of whole milk a day, that's 2,400 calories. That's like three, three bucks for your whole day of calories. It's not bad. Probably one of the cheapest things you would get is beans. It's even cheaper if you get dry beans, but 385 calories per can at 55 cents is 700 calories per dollar. So it's pretty much a given that the biggest bang for your buck is rice. 11 bucks and it's 160 calories per serving, 200 per servings, 3,000 calories per dollar. That's like, that's, that's a pretty good deal. If you ate just rice, you'd be saving a lot of money. Wow, so it looks like the gallon of milk a day diet or rice and beans is actually a really good way to go unless you want to like straight up chug vegetable oil. 250 servings per container, 120 calories. So that's 30,000 calories for six bucks. That's a, uh, wow, that's 5,000 calories per dollar. Okay, maybe I should be chugging vegetable oil. I also did this analysis on some other foods I've bought in the past. To say that I was appalled and disgusted is an understatement. Can you believe only 40 calories per dollar for these? Never buying those again. Rule number three is actually still a grocery item, but this discovery is so important that it deserves its own rule. You may be wondering, what could possibly beat out pasta, rice and beans, Little Caesars? Brownies! Throw out everything that you know about money, health, life, because Costco brownies are literally the only thing that you need to survive. Let's take a journey on the nutrition facts here. There are 170 calories per serving, 19 servings per pan, that is 3,230 calories per pan. There are six bags per box, meaning that a single box of Costco brownies has 19,380 calories. It only costs $11.99 or less if it's on sale, meaning that the minimum amount of calories per dollar is 1,616 calories per dollar. I'm telling you, the next time that I'm planning to do any sort of trip, I'm just gonna make like six pans of brownies and I'll be good. Now you might be wondering, Jonathan, didn't you make a video about making brownies out of beans? Literally, it is more calorie efficient to eat Costco brownies than brownies made out of beans, one of the cheapest things on planet Earth. You are welcome. This brings us to rule number four. Now you may be wondering, after all of that, what could possibly top Costco brownies? But rule number four is actually the golden rule of college. And that is that free food is king. That's the real thing with this calories per dollar is you want that number to be really big. One way like we saw is to make the calorie number go up. The other way is to make the dollar number go way down. And this is where I tell you about this magical thing called the Princeton free food list. When I did my undergrad at BYU, they had free food but it was mostly relegated to career fair type events and you typically only get pizza. And you can only really eat so much pizza. But then I came to Princeton and Princeton has a lot of money and so there are so many events on campus with so much free food and it is good food. And there's always so much extra food such that a few years ago a student was sick of the food waste and they started an email listserv where you can get an email at any time there is free food left over from any campus event. The hilarious thing about this is that I did not learn about the Princeton free food listserv from another Princeton student. I learned about the Princeton free food listserv from my two roommates who are not Princeton students. And anytime they sent out an email, 
I would get a text message that looked like this. <laughs> and we ate so much. And I am sincerely grateful for the amazing free food that Princeton chose to share rather than just simply letting go to waste. So what does that stack up in terms of calories per dollar? So let's say we go load up a big Tupperware with 10,000 calories of food and I have to walk one mile and it takes me about 15 minutes. Well, at my graduate student stipend rate, about 85 cents for 15 minutes, the wear and tear on my shoes over one mile is about 10 cents per mile. That 15 minutes in walking cost me less than a dollar, for which I got 10,000 calories, which means that free food literally takes the cake. Now, as I've shared this idea with a few people, they've told me about these things called nutrients, and they've said weird things like malnutrition, you need vegetables to live, you're gonna die of diabetes. Okay, I need vegetables to live? What do you think vegetable oil is made out of? In any case, this is my gift to all the high schoolers who are leaving for college. These four simple rules are actually all you really need to know to be successful in life. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe. If you're coming to Princeton, be sure to hit up that Princeton free food listserv. And if you know about anything that is more calorie efficient than vegetable oil, hit me up.